dressageclinic.com. A world of knowledge at your fingertips. Just like yesterday, instead of starting out with a real long rain, I want to keep a nice contact first and, and try to get a steady neck position. Yeah? I don't just want to give the rain away and say, well, here, here it is, go, go ahead and stretch. Yeah? Since she is a bit fussy there, I, I don't see the purpose right now just um, giving her a long rain yeah? because then she, she won't take the bit in a nice steady way because she has nothing to look for. Yeah? So I'm guiding her that's it, into a place where we can work. That's good. Also, when, when I feel a horse being a bit fussy in the bridle like this, I, to me this is not the time and place to start a lot of bending. Yeah? And JJ has done a nice job keeping the horse nice and even on both reins anyway. So I, I really want to stay away from that. So there we are, bracing a little bit. Again, keeping a bit of a contact. Not a loose rein. And then we slowly work our way into a little bit of a longer frame, but again, not accepting that she opens the mouth, grabs the bit. Uh, uh, uh. Now I don't want her to go by herself too, too deep all of a sudden and get a hold of the bridle too much. Yeah? Gently stretching into the rain, but giving her purpose in the, in the warm-up. JJ, she feels nice to the leg, that's all good. So oh, that's getting a little better in the contact. Ah, ah, ah. So right there, even when she starts fussing with a bit, yeah, a little, little push with the with the outside leg. I, I want something to a little aid that brings it to her attention. Yeah? At that same time, we could also maybe. I mean, you started with a whip, not a bad idea either. Yeah, but I, I really need to need to, to understand that this fussing with the bridle or with a bit is something I want to address. I'm not going to overwhelm her with the, with the aid. And, and again, I'm not convinced that a lower, longer frame would make her in the connection steadier. Yeah? 